It's no secret that some charter schools run into money and operating problems. There is no cure for autism. Scott Jackson was playing for the Texans when his son was diagnosed. Since then, this foundation is scoring touchdowns with families across Houston. Jamie's House Charter School continues to investigate if other teachers were involved. This time next week, Continental employees may know exactly what their future is at Continental Airlines. But for now, things are up in the air. Laura McDuffie, Fox 26 News. Local Houstonians are waiting to see what will happen with the potential merger of Continental and United Airlines. Many are worried what this will mean for employees. Natural that everybody would uh, be concerned about their jobs right now, especially uh, when it comes to uh, moving or relocating to another city. This same deal was discussed in 2008, and Houston-based Continental backed out. Rice Professor Gustav Gillian says the merger may be necessary this time. Probably for Continental, this is a good idea because otherwise, if they don't do it, somebody else will do it. The popular perception of a merger is that prices will increase for consumers. Professor of Marketing Sethu Seth Harneman says larger mergers don't always pan out the way consumers want. Now, if they merge, now that's one giant. So if all goes well, right? So that's a big if. But if all goes well, costs could decrease enough that consumers end up actually benefiting from decreased prices from those efficiencies. But more often than not, such cost efficiencies do not result. It remains to be seen how many jobs in Houston will be lost as a result of a merger. Continental worker Juan is optimistic. You know, you just do your job, you know. So hopefully they'll do what's best for the company. This time next week, Continental employees may know exactly what their future is at Continental Airlines. But for now, things are up in the air. Laura McDuffie, Fox 26 News. So in our support groups. Parents of mentally ill children sometimes feel as if they have nowhere to go. But these parents have the National Alliance of Health, or NAMI. It can't be happening to us. We have nothing like this in our family. And then realization, what do I do? Where do I go? What's available? Is there anything that can be done? They come for support to deal with problems of mentally ill loved ones. Parents admit that feelings of denial are common. It was very frustrating and it was very hard and I turned to family members and um, they tried to help me with him. But after a while, they just gave up. Attorney Marsha Phillips is dedicating her practice to helping families of mentally ill children. She helps parents deal with legal issues to prevent a life of turmoil for their child. Men beat down and exhausted, and I usually spend the first half hour while they're crying and just breaking down my office. And they're finally happy to find somebody that's already been through that and then somebody that they feel like is going to help them. It wasn't that long ago that mental illness in a family was kept in the closet, but NAMI and other organizations are walking toward awareness and support. The walk, we're very excited about the walk. The walk is our big fundraiser for the year. We really don't do anything besides the walk to raise money. Sam Houston Park is preparing for NAMI's walk in downtown Houston. NAMI hopes to raise $2,000. Laura McDuffie, Fox 26 News. Toby Adijay was a standout athlete on Bel Air High School's basketball team. By all account, an overachiever at everything he pursued. It's just be our honor all around. It's a good kid that you want to be around with, you know. He was really, really sweet, very playful, always smiling, you know, and very respectful. But just five days before his 18th birthday, Toby died when his car veered into the path of another vehicle taking his life and that of the other driver. The accident early Sunday morning came just hours after Toby attended his senior prom. It's all that we got, our only son. It's like a jewel, it's, it's like everything to us, you know. The sudden death of the basketball store left his family and friends absolutely shattered. He's very outgoing, he's a very outgoing person. He was always ready to do something. He was always ready to have some fun with somebody. He was never just shy, but he was also humble, a very humble man. Toby was a high school academic All-American who would play at Texas A&M. Though his life was cut way too short, a legacy that will inspire others who follow in his footsteps. Truly, did not die in vain. He really impacted a lot of people. 
Police say they don't know if alcohol was involved. HISD will send counselors to Bel Air High Monday morning to help deal with what will be an incredible amount of grief. Laura McDuffie, Fox 26 News. Scott and Ashley Jackson had no idea their bundle of joy, Tyler, would encounter so many problems as he grew older. These problems were due to autism. This local couple is giving back in a big way. They created the Tackling Autism Foundation. Well, last year we started Tackling Autism Foundation after we'd seen so many families like ours who have been struggling to make the uh, therapy costs. And Their son has made great progress through therapy. The Jacksons know they are fortunate and want to help others in a special way. We thought we should help out and raise some money to, to fund some, some of these treatment centers that help the, the families. And so, so far we've been able to, to give back and um, pay for about 250 hours of therapy. And for, for families, that's, that means a lot because it's expensive. Tackling autism is all about families surviving the day-to-day -day challenges. Autism tends to occur at birth or between the ages of one and two. This usually poses a threat to marriages. The hard part is, especially as a father, I can relate to this, um, because the costs are so high, you feel like as a provider, you want to just go work and you don't know how to connect with your child. And so you go and put so much into to working and trying to raise the money to help. And that's your, your effort. Um, but what falls by the wayside is is the time with, with your wife and, and you feel overwhelmed and, and there's really no way you can fix it. The foundation also reaches out by providing the timeout program. Local businesses have an opportunity to donate to this cause. It's a free dinner, transportation, um, and child care if, if wanted from, from trained professionals from treatment centers. There is no cure for autism. Scott Jackson was playing for the Texans when his son was diagnosed. Since then, this foundation is scoring touchdowns with families across Houston. Laura McDuffie, Fox 26 News.